we are at the Core Ice booth here at the Ice Institute checking out their wheelhouses here. And we've got one of their nice ones. I've got Mark here. Mark, kind of take me through here and walk me through all the different features and such on this unit. This is a really nice looking unit. Sure, um, Mark Harmon with Core Ice. Let me just start on the outside. This house here, we'll just, we won't go too far, but this is an important feature that is a big differentiation for us. This is a ski tip. We have skis on both sides and also down the center of the fish house. So this is a hybrid wheel skid system. We've had this house out on the market for about four years and we have other brands as well. But the hybrid skid wheel system is probably what really set the benchmark of who we are and what we do. The other things that we have is our panel systems are made out of a fiberglass, high density foam and fiberglass. And so it's a structural composite panel. We're different than other fish houses because what we do is we bond those panels to each other in the frame. So we have more of a vehicular style of manufacturing as opposed to frame with something built on top of it and hope it all stays together. Right. Everything that we do in here is built with waterproof products. PVC, cabinetry, fiberglass walls, everything is almost built out of insulation as well. You know, one of the questions that you asked me when you first came in, well, let me back up real quick. One of the things that we really speak to is the fishermen, the yeah. ice fishermen in particular, because we are supplying them with a tactical fishing experience. Uh, by the way, our bond is between our floor and our frame system. We have a lot of space in between our different frame rails, which allows us to place the fishing holes in places that actually make sense. Sometimes there's limitations with crossbars and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, back to what our product is. We use everything as 12 volt capable on these, but you'd originally kind of asked me about this yeah. Truma furnace system. Uh, what it is, is this is a Vario heat Truma, it's a German furnace, and what we have is a little pad right here where we can do a lot of different things. And so the Vario heat is different from your traditional RV furnaces. In a traditional RV furnace, if you set your temperature, let's say 70 degrees, it's gonna take the temperature, it's gonna blow the heat until it hits maybe 73, and then it'll turn off to kind of maintain a mid-range 70. It'll drop down to about 67, hit that low limit switch, and then come back on. And there's a lot of fluctuation in temperature, yeah, sure. whether you're in a camp or something else. So what this Vario heat does is it changes the fan speed. It's always on and always running, right? But it changes the fan speed and the amount of uh, fuel that it's burning at that time. So it maintains a steady temperature all the time. Hmm. So the comfort level is much higher. and if you're one to turn on your air conditioner every single time you come home in the summertime, you're wasting tons of energy, right? Yep. Because if you leave it on all the time, then you don't have to warm up all your furniture and everything else. With the Vario heat, holding that temperature all the time makes it the most efficient furnace on the market. In fact, it's a 90% efficient furnace. Most of them are somewhere in that range of 55 to about 65%. Yeah, yeah for sure. So when we're talking about BTUs, whatever those may be, let's say, we're actually getting a net benefit that matches higher BTU systems with a lot less fuel consumption, okay? Nice. Yeah, so there's a lot to it. And I could go on for a long time, but basically this fish house that we're standing in weighs about 1,790 pounds. So we're really a lightweight thing. You can pull this with a tracked ATV, maybe a snowmobile. Uh, you can pull it with a side-by-side, -side, what have you. It has a ramp door on the back. Really easy modular seating configurations. You can take this dinette out. You can drop this bunk down to this level. Sleep a couple people here. You can flip this up and you can fish the different holes. So we have a lot of different things. Tons of stuff on our website as well, which is core-ice.com. Uh, and I would encourage you to go check it out. And we certainly have a big social media presence as well. So you can look at those things too. But enough about us. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, me. thanks, Mark. Uh, one thing I saw in one of the other on display here is that you had a spearing hole inside also? Yeah, yeah. Because of our strength of our composite panel and the space that we have between our frames, we don't have to worry about the sagging or something like a board getting rotten over time. So it's an extremely robust and strong panel. And so that panel, we can drive four wheelers or UTVs across that, and it's always gonna hold the same strength. So if you wanna open that up and, you know, not everybody spears out of a spear hole. A lot of people angle out of a spear hole. Yep. You know, when we're ice fishing, a lot of times you have a vertical presentation. Having a spear hole gives you another axis that you can work on. And sometimes that's the difference between triggering a bite or not. That it is. Uh, if you're a trout fisherman, it's a must, right? Yep, that it is. <laughs> so anyway, you know, pan fish are a little bit more forgiving, but we won't pick on those guys right now. <laughs> so yeah, that was a good observation. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we're definitely doing as well. 
Hey, I want to tell you one other thing because this is kind of revolutionary in the fish house business as well. I have a link that uh, we can give you or whatever, but this is a switch system that goes through and it has the silhouette of the house all the way through here. What is cool besides the visual display that it has, this can sync to an app on your phone. This is the first model and the first uh, line of fish houses that's actually a smart fish house. So I can have this app connected to my phone, control everything from my truck uh, or with inside the fish house as well. So if I want to go to bed at night and I don't want to have to get out and get cold to go, <laughs> I can just turn it off from my phone and it's good to go. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. Technology is what we're all about. And you guys have got a lot of lighting on the outside to illuminate it. Right. For, you know, so and I'll, I'll make a mention on this stuff too. I mean, it's kind of a signature look of our core ice fish houses. And these lights, if you notice, they point down. Yep. And so when I'm working on something, if you can get a shot looking straight down here, that's a high shadow area where oh, you're yeah. trying to pin things up or not. And if you've ever been in three inches of snow, let's say, and you drop your pin, it's kind of hard to find, especially <laughs> yes. in the dark and the shadows. We have light coming down here. You can easily see what's going on. It, it's really a nice thing. But like I said, it's kind of a signature thing on our houses. We, kind of, we call it a light curtain, and it does shine down and not out. So you kind of have this... Uh, I don't know, just kind of this orbit, orbital thing yep, around it, the fish house, and it's really a beautiful sight. If you saw the front of the brochure, I mean, they're they're very camera ready. I'll tell you that. We get more pictures sent to us from customers that take pictures at night on their lakes or yes. at their sunsets or northern lights. It's cool. We love that kind of engagement too. Mark, one more time. What's the website? www.cordashice.com.